Good morning, good morning, beautiful souls. First, let us give thanks because we can breathe. Today, um, this what I'm going to talk about today is going to be a little bit um, difficult or tough, but the time has come, okay? I know that there's going to be a lot of, uh, there's going to be can worms that's going to open up and there's going to be close people who's not going to be happy, but this is my story to tell. This is my journey. It's my pain and it's my story to tell. Nobody else's. When I was a little girl, Okay. I never felt like I was loved. I never felt like I was loved, especially by my father. I was a bit, I was close to my mom. You know, my mom talked to me a, a lot and, um, yeah, we were close. Um, I, <laughs> I remember when I was, I don't know how old. I think I was like 11, 10, 11 years old. Okay. This is a story. I, I put three pieces of sticks in a toilet pit that has faces, you know, the out in the Caribbean, we dig a hole and we use it as a toilet. That was like in the days back. I chose three pieces of stick in the toilet hole. <laughs> My father holds me. And he put me in the toilet pit to take these three pieces of stick out. Three pieces of stick that wasn't needed. My sister helped me clean my body off. It was filled with faces. And she cleaned me. I know you're going to be listening to this, my sister. And I just want to say that I appreciate you and thank you because you know that story. For all the fathers out there, I just want to tell you, protect your kids. Protect your little girls. I want to tell you, make a safe space for them to come and vent when there's things going on in their life. Make a safe space. Be the first one to love your little girl. So when she grew up, she will know what love is. When she grew up, she will know what to, what to ac accept from one not to accept. Because the first man who has to love their little girl is going to be you. Protect your little girls. Protect your little girls. I remember... I don't remember if I was like five or six, okay? And I used to love to be around my, my grandmother, my mom, my grandmother. I spent a lot of time with, time with my grandmother. She's presently passed away. May her soul rest in peace. And I would sleep at the end of the bed on the floor. You know, in the Caribbean, we make beds with old clothes or stuff like that. And... <laughs> You know, I'm going to, my uncle, my so-called Dan, every night or every time I sleep there, he will touch me inappropriately. I forgive you, Dan. I forgive you. But I hope you're going to ask for forgiveness one day. The, the part that hurt me the most is my grandparents knew about it and they said nothing. I could remember the, the voice of my grandfather saying, Dan, stop interfering with the girl. Otherwise, he would tell my mom. He never did. They cover it up. Because what? Was it normal? It wasn't. I know a lot of little girls going through the same thing. Don't be afraid to make your voice heard. Because the first time... For the first time, my voice has been heard. For the first time, my voice has been heard. And this is not normal. I know a lot of young girls is going through the same thing. 
whether in my country, St. Vincent, because it seems it's like very high, it's very high in that, in my country. And, um, it has been covered. It's time. It's time to say no more because you're destroying the little girls. You're destroying them to be broken bottles. And a man, a future man cannot fix broken bottles. So it's time to say no more. Don't be afraid to talk. Don't be afraid to talk. Parents make a safe home. Make a safe place for your children to talk about what's going on in their life. Because if you don't, they will feel like it's their fault. Because that's the way I feel. I think about it and many times I thought about it, all the things. I thought about it. But I think now is just the time for me to talk openly. Now is the time for me to talk. And I want you to share my video. I want you to share my video. Subscribe to my channel because there's more to come. Subscribe. Press the button for notification. Because my voice will be heard. It has been too long. It has been too long. And my voice has been heard. And if I die, if I die and my voice has been heard, it would be make me the most happiest person because I know my voice has been heard and I may be able to save somebody else. Subscribe to my channel. Keep in touch. Keep in touch. And you, I know somebody is listening to me who is going through the same thing. Don't be afraid. Don't be a victim. Break the cars. Break it because it will go on from your generation when you close and you don't talk about it. It's going to go on from your kids and for your, to your grandkids because you, you close on it. So if you, can, if you can't be open about it, how could we carry on openness? <sighs> Just, you're not alone. I've been through the same thing. I know a lot of young girls is going through the same thing right now. You're not alone. I've been through it. Talk about it because it will eat you up inside. You will go in the shower and you will cry. You will go in the shower and you will cry. I'm, I was, I'm a strong person. So I keep it together. But the time has come and I take pride. I take pride in it. And I'm proud of myself. So if any one of you out there going to the same thing, don't be afraid. And fathers, parents, please have a safe, have a safe space for your children. Love them unconditionally. So, would, so they will not be in pain. So they will not be broken bottles. Because the broken bodies will only cut anyone in the future. Stay tuned. There is more to come. Subscribe to my channel. Press the, the, but, the bell buttons for all notification. And with all this, I thank God for the strength that he gave me. And I'm still able to smile. <laughs> so let us keep smiling. Let us keep everything positive. In everything that we go through in our life, we still have to be positive because the sun always shines.